Hi. Yeah, great to be here with you all. Um, yeah, as Kristen just mentioned, I literally just flew back in from. Uh, <laughs> hey, Helena. <laughs> I literally just flew in from Canada last night. I was there for about 10 days, staying with my friends, Stan and Sue. I'm not sure if they're on here today, but um, I just had this amazing miracle trip. It was so expansive for my mind in so many ways, um, mainly with just opening up with music, but it felt like it went so far beyond that. And... Uh, yeah, while I was with Stan, he has a recording studio up there. We recorded three songs and just had this beautiful collaboration. And today I would love to just share some of those songs with you. But before we do that, I really wanted to play a clip from um, Britain's Got Talent. I love Britain's Got Talent and X Factor and all of those shows because sometimes these people just come on the show and it's like, they just blow you away. Like something comes through them that is so unexpected and it's really beyond them. And uh, the clip that I want to share today is Paul Potts. Um, many of you probably know him from the movie One Chance. There was a, a movie made about his life and really his whole path from walking from this deep unworthiness that he had around his voice and this, um, this littleness and doubt to stepping through all of these prompts that the spirit was giving to him to finally coming on to the show Britain's Got Talent and just blowing everyone away. And um, yeah, when I watch this video, I just, I, I feel emotional with it because I, I feel like something just wants to burst in my heart and it's really not personal. It's yeah, just about fully stepping in. So Nicholas, I think you have the video there if you wanna, if you wanna roll it. Yeah, every time I watch that clip, I just feel something and it, yeah, it really touches my heart and it's really not about, like, I think I'm attracted to it as well because it's opera and I relate to that, but it's so far beyond that. It's nothing to do with opera or singing or anything, but for me, what touches me in that video is him stepping into his function, like his calling. You know, he has this gift and for so many years he has held back and, and not shared it. And when he sings in front of everyone, where I really feel my heart explodes is when everyone starts cheering him and they stand up and they cheer him. And it's just this experience of it, it's not personal. Like when one of us takes our step, everybody who witnesses that is blessed in the same way. And when they all cheer, it's like mine, minds are joined. And there's nothing else but that. And it's just so inspiring. So, yeah, I just wanted to start the show off today with that, just to open everybody's hearts, open my heart. And, um, yeah, just to share a little bit about my trip to Canada. The inspiration with me going to visit Stan and Sue was that um, the prompt has been coming in for a while for me to write an opera song. And, you know, I pushed it away for quite a while thinking, oh, I couldn't possibly do that. But actually, there's an acceptance that's come into my mind with opening up to well, maybe this is what the spirit is guiding me to do. Maybe this is where my expansion is. And so Stan so generously invited me to come and stay with him and work with him in his recording studio and collaborate. And uh, yeah, I went ahead and booked my flights about a month before I left. And so in my mind, I had this full month to write my opera piece and then I would go for the week with Stan and I would record it. And that was Emily's plan. And so the whole month leading up to it, and I think I shared a bit on, uh, on previous shows that didn't really work out that way. You know, a lot of miracles happened, but actually having a piece of music that I was ready to go and record, it didn't materialize. And, and when I left, I actually 
I had some other songs that I wanted recorded, but with the opera song, I, I really had nothing. And so I was just praying to the spirit to, to reveal to me what this trip was, because it was very clear to me that it was guided and it was supported by, by everyone, actually. So um, I arrived in Canada and the first few days we recorded a few other pieces, but I think day three or four, I was just sitting at the keyboard and uh, just started to play like a very simple pattern on the keyboard. And this melody started to come into my mind and some lyrics. And it was literally within about 10 minutes, the beginnings of this song kind of came into my awareness. And um, I played it for Stan and he, he really loved it. He, he felt it. So we just decided to move forward with this song and, and see and see what would happen with it. And yeah, it was such an amazing experience for me because we would, um, I would have these moments where I would think, why wow, this, there's so far to go with this. There's so much that we still need to do for this song to be complete and we only have a few days or the vocals that were recorded, that's, that wasn't it or, you know, it just felt like a goal out of reach. And at one point this happened and I just prayed and. I, I said to the spirit, I know that I have a lot of limiting beliefs around music and what's possible or what my capabilities are. I just really want to hand them over and I, I want you to show me what this is all about. And I had this amazing experience where, I don't know what happened, but within half an hour, we put two vocal lines together that hadn't even been intended to go together. You know, they've been recorded separately and added in another instrument into the into the orchestration and there was this feeling like the song was done like it was complete and it was like this quantum experience of time collapsing and really seeing that I think the whole thing for for me in this is letting go of the idea that I'm personally doing it my only job is to follow the prompts and show up and then when I start to get stressed around it or have the thoughts of like oh, it's not possible, that's the moment of surrender. That's the moment of, I don't know what I'm doing. And, and then the miracle can come in. And it was so beautiful with Stan because, you know, he would suggest one small little thing and we would try it and it would like change the whole song. And then from that, another idea would come from me. And it wasn't just with this song, it was with all the songs that we recorded. And it was just this beautiful... Yeah, this beautiful experience of seeing that it can be just very effortless and joyful. And when it's not flowing that way, when it feels like, yeah, some things just aren't working, it was just a prompt to stop, like go for a walk, go out for the day. It's like, even if there's an idea of a future goal, something needs to get completed. It can be a total barrier to the inspiration that wants to come in in the moment. So some days we would just say, okay, we're done for today and then come back fresh the next day and having let go of the day before and then something miraculous would come in again and it was it was really beautiful even one day i had the thought that i wanted to re-record the, the the vocal line the lyrics and um i tried to record it and it's like my voice was going hoarse and then the microphone broke it was like clicking and stan was like that's never happened before it's like okay well let's not put all this mind energy into trying to fix the technology. Let's just trust that this is, this is the spirit's prompt that um, it's not needed. And so we didn't record the vocals and we record them and we just used what we had. And for me, it was a letting go of perfectionism, a letting go of what I think needed to happen and, and just trusting this vibrancy or this feeling of, I just want to feel like the spirit is flowing through me in every moment in everything that I do. And this backdrop of singing has been given to me to really come into that. So I was thinking that I would love to sing the song for you that we wrote. And um, I have a backing track. Um, I'm going to sing the, the vocal along with the backing track. Um, we don't have the ideal situation here for playing a backing track and, and voice, but I just, I want to go with what's in my heart and what I feel to share. It's not a very um, dramatic opera piece. It's actually um, 
quite slow and soft and it's more like more like a meditation piece so um i'm a little nervous <laughs> but i think i'm just gonna go for it it's called um truth be revealed
Yeah, I just, um, I feel in that song, like very exposed um, and kind of naked. And um, yeah, I just feel like where it sits in the voice, it's, it's exposed and, and yeah, just, like there's obviously still a healing with thinking that I'm writing something because it's both sides either like wanting it to be good and thinking that's me or thinking it's bad and thinking that's me and I feel like I really want to hand that over and let it go because you know with that song like I feel something when I sing it but then I'll listen to it or I'll think about it and I'm like oh but it's it's not good or and then one moment I'll feel it one moment I won't and it's like I can't I can't look to external sources to even validate what I'm doing. And I just feel like I have to stay in that space of feeling a connection. And then if that's felt by others, that's beautiful. And if not, well, then I can't have that. My focus, the focus has to be my connection with the spirit and, and, and just trusting that. So it's a very good, lesson for me and letting go of judgment and i think that that's why i have pushed singing and music away for so long because there's this voice that that comes in and and it's being healed i feel like it is being healed through this process that that's what needs to be faced well i don't feel like i have a lot more to say but I mean, I could sing another song. Um, so on the on my last show, I sang the dance piece. I think it was my last show, dance piece with the opera. So I'm going to do that again, but it now has some lyrics, one line of lyrics <laughs> that are repeated throughout. And um, yeah and backing vocals. So I'm getting the five minute mark. So I think I should get straight into it because I'm not quite sure how long it is. I think it's less than five minutes anyway. Hmm? Prayer, prayer of your heart. It's now called the prayer of your heart.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. See you in a few weeks. Oh, I'm looking at the screen. She's looking at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> See you in a few weeks. <laughs> Love you.